What's up guys? Time to show off another NH build as well as another Kraken build. This will be available in the uh, Friday Waffle that will be uh, drawn on Saturday since I will be out of town on Saturday. We've got a Pam Case Kraken build. This has one of my uh, flame bronzed Kraken dials in there. Behind a sapphire glass, we've got a set of silver mariner hands in there. Probably should have wound this a little bit because I didn't wind it after I was done. So we'll get it at least ticking so you know it works. So, anyway, um, brushed stainless steel pam case with a 120 quick coin bezel. This has a distressed uh, hour insert. Referenced your silver mariner handset in there. You've got a black chapter ring uh, in the light under that blue sapphire. You can see you've got one of my last green painted and flame bronzed Kraken dials. Exhibition case back on this, and then this is on a super cool two-piece black and gray leather, uh, black stitched from uh, Mr. Gillespie over at Wristbound with a Kraken engraved preview buckle. And this should be Kraken build number 251, if I recall. Bezel on this is a 120 click. Now you're just going to have to realign it because it's only an hour reference. So, not going to be clicking it around for anything uh, you know special like diver style, but it does mimic what we've got there on the dial. 120 click bezel. Like I said, you're not probably going to click it around. You're going to click it to the the to the next one there. Um, automatic mechanical, so you can wind it, you can wear it, you can put it in a watch winder. But if it's dead or you're not going to be very active, make sure you wind it a little bit. And you saw how I did that. You take the pressure off, and you can then wind. This has a 41 hour power reserve on it. When you're comfortable with your winding, you're going to wind it a little bit before you put it on because you want to make sure you don't lose time throughout the day. Because if you're not moving around, you're not actually moving that rotor around, you're not winding it. So when you're happy with that, you're going to pull it to the one and only click. And it has a hacking movement, so it's going to stop. At that point, you can set your time. Okay, Google, what time is it? 11 something. 11? 40. Seven. When you're good, you're going to push it over. It's going to take it out of that time setting. You're going to see your hand pick back up and fold it down. Now, the water um, resistance on these things is only uh, with that. So, I wouldn't test it too much there. It's not a screw down crown. And that is the build. This build is going to come with matching beads as always. And this will come in this very cool, it's like a brownish green. I thought it went really nice with that dial. Almost match it perfectly. 3D printed uh, Kraken treasure box. This will also come with watch cleaner. This is good on all glass and metal parts, so everything here in the center. Non-streaking, non-toxic, non-residue, as well as a microfiber. And this will also come with leather conditioner to keep that strap perfectly soft. If you ever feel that it's not, apply it on the front and back, let it soak in, remove any excess, use a rag or something, don't use your microfiber, and a little bit will go a long way. And if this build's going to you, congrats. You've got one of the original style Kraken dials that I used to do that I've been holding back. I have maybe 10 of those left, and I pepper them in as I can, so um, these are acid etched style, not the lasered style I do these days. So. It's going to you. Once again, uh, congrats. It'll be uh, uh, an awesome addition for you. So if you want me to build you something custom and unique, reach out and I'll see what I can do. And if you want to continue to see videos like this, like and subscribe as I put them up all the time.
Thanks, guys.